So Go High Level just released this chat GPT feature within the workflow builder. And I wanted to create this video to provide some clarity for people that have been attempting to use it, but not quite having success with it and show you what it actually can do, what it can't do, and just talk about, you know, what it really is. Because I think there's definitely a lot of hype around AI right now. And so there's a lot of people that just want AI for the sake of having AI and AI is gonna automate everything. Um, but when they actually get into the weeds of how this stuff actually works, um, you know, they don't quite necessarily put two and two together. So what I'm gonna do is just walk you through what the feature is as it stands right now. In the future, I think it's gonna change because they are, I think, planning to release what people really want um, within the next few weeks. So basically, I'll just give you a real, uh, simple breakdown of what this feature does. So when you go into the workflow builder in your Go High Level sub account, you know, if you know anything about high level, then basically you create a trigger. So let's just do a really simple trigger, which I think is the most common use case that people want to use this feature for, which is a customer replying via a text or email or, um, you know, uh, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, whatever, right? This is what people ideally want to use this for, at least on based on what I've seen, right? You have somebody that's having a conversation with your business and you want ChatGBT to basically handle it and book an appointment with them if they're like a potential customer. And if you want to see how to really do this right now, I've already done a video on this. So if you're new to the channel um, and you're like, well, what does this guy know? You can go and watch that video. It's totally free and you can basically see how to how to do this because this is what i've been told people really really want so when in order to do this hypothetically if this feature was fully ready to do that you would just come here choose customer replied create a filter for the channel so you're basically just telling high level hey when somebody sends me a, a message via sms then i want to basically send it over to chat gpt right and then basically I'll, I'll fix this in a sec so write a prompt here so you would want to have your instruction here about what the the chat GBT assistant would do and you know the qualifying questions or whatever it is and you would save that action and then you would come here to the plus choose on you know send the SMS and you would basically pull this data from the response right and then you would just click save and then basically this would be the ideal scenario like a customer messages you via text you know, ChatGPT knows uh, how to engage with that customer or whatever it is. And then from there, it basically um, will send them a text, right? And that's just one way you could do it. The other thing you could do is you could do these conditions. So let's just say, I'll just lay out a few different simple examples. So let's say, I don't know if this uh, account has any tags. Okay, well, let's just do this. So let's just say you have like a hot lead tag in your in your business. And keep in mind, this can be applied to any type of tag or really anything in high level. So let's say you have like a hot lead. And then let's say you have um, an existing customer, right? So somebody that's already paid you or somebody that you're already like working with, right? Hypothetically, you would have different prompts within chat GPT for those specific, uh, you know, customers, because if one's a hot lead, you need to approach them differently. If one's an existing paying customer, they may need support, right? And then if you had another type of person that's a cold lead, you may want to have a different prompt for that. So when they fully, you know, flesh out this feature, which I think this isn't, this feature isn't even intended for what I'm showing you. I think they just released it and then people want to use it for that. So they think that's what it does, but it doesn't quite do it yet. And if you're not following me fully, you'll see what I mean as we, we go through. All right, so Loom crashed on me, but basically what I was saying is that in an ideal world, you would have an AI bot responding to every type of lead or customer or scenario for your business. And it becomes like the brain of your entire business where you have customers, cold leads, hot leads, whatever it is, people that booked appointments that didn't show up, people that booked appointments that show up and didn't buy, people that book appointments that show up and bought and you wanna upsell them, like every scenario that your business has, right? You would basically, in an ideal world, from my understanding of what people would want, is a bot would basically facilitate that conversation via text, email, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, automate everything, right? This is what people want. So when this feature got released, I think people think that that's what this is, but from my testing, this isn't quite what this is yet, but they are gonna release it. So I don't even think the intention for this feature is what people think, it's just people want it so bad that they think it's that, if that makes sense. So in an ideal world, you would have, let's just call this your hot leads 
uh, bot, hypothetically, right? So you would have your trigger when there's a hot lead that comes in, and I'm just gonna do two simple examples so that you know no one gets confused. So let's just say you have your hot leads, and then let's just say you have your cold leads. It'll keep it real simple. And let's just say we're gonna keep it simple with you know them replying via text, and hypothetically, once you get this understanding, you could apply this to really anything inside of here. So let's just say that it has the tag, let's just add the tag cold leads, and then that'll keep things real simple. So hypothetically, what you could do is you would create a prompt. So you would have a hot leads prompt. And the way you do this is you would sort this by workflow trigger is, and then hot leads. And then you would have another filter, which would be your cold leads trigger. And the way you would sort those would be by the workflow trigger is cold leads. And then you would save that action, right? And what you would do if this was the feature, which I think it's coming, which is really, really exciting because I'm going to be building a ton of stuff with it, is you would basically duplicate this uh, action and just paste it here. And so just to you know create a simple label, let's just call this hot leads prompt. So you would tell ChatGPT, I have a base prompt in uh, how to build in this cheat sheet. Um, I have this, I have these base prompts that you can basically use. So you would have a prompt like this. And then in addition to that prompt, you would specify that these are hot leads, right? Because the, they're identified by a human tagging that lead or an automation tagging that lead based on their behavior. So if I'm running this system, I tag that lead as hot. Then, um, if it ran through this, this automation, then it would go into the hot leads prompt. So I would say, I'm simplifying this. This is not how you would type a prompt, but just so you understand the point, I would say these are my hot leads. Let's get them booked into appointments, right? That's the idea underneath everything else you would really write in the prompt. And then the same thing would go here. So you would, uh, I don't know why it says number two here. I think because I was using this before. Um, yeah, so anyway, you would have this, and then, so when a hot lead, which would be filtered by, they respond via text, they have a tag hot lead, then this condition runs a, the condition of like, oh, they came in through the trigger, the hot leads trigger, so we're gonna send that response that we got from the hot leads, uh, from that hot lead to ChatGPT, and then ChatGPT is gonna respond properly, and we're gonna pull that response from this custom value of the hot leads prompt. Right. That's in an ideal world. That's that's what people want. And that's what we're heading to. And so then it's the same logic. OK, we have cold leads and then the workflow trigger is cold leads. So, you know, when it goes through that filter, you would say these are my cold leads. Let's get them engaged. Right. So they need a different, you know, they need something different, basically. So you would call this cold leads prompt. And then in an ideal world. Right you would pull, so this needs to be pulled from ChatGPT3, because I, I don't know quite why it's naming uh, you know, these actions that, but you would just need to follow that. But the idea here is, imagine, all these lead, I mean, I could build out an entire thing right now where it just handled every source, right? You could have a whole texting uh, bot, right? Where it just handled hot leads, cold leads, every type of situation. And you could even do it on pipeline stage. I mean, I could come up with a million ways to do this. But this is what I think people want. However, the limitation as it stands right now is that the distinction between what this is doing and what people want and what I cover in this video is that it's generating a, it's what's called a completion. So when a, a lead texts, right, this system, which I can give an example of right now because this is my testing number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tag this lead hot leads, okay? And then you'll see kind of what it what I'm saying over here. So this is my other sub account. And so if I, uh, hold on. Okay, so let's say that this is the, the system that has chat GPT. So I'll label it here. So basically you're talking to chat GPT. Obviously the lead, or the lead wouldn't know that, or you wouldn't want it to know that, but just so you can understand. So with the way that this automation is built, right? The way I just built it, if the lead has the tag hot leads, then it's gonna go to the hot leads prompt and then it's gonna push out a response. If it's a cold lead with the cold lead tag, it's gonna go to the cold leads prompt, right? 
and you would need to make sure this allow multiple is on so it could have an ongoing conversation. This is what people want, right? So if I say, uh, hey, what's up? Keep in mind the prompt that I wrote is not a qualif like a real prompt, um, but what it's missing right now, what this feature is missing is that it's generating what's called a completion. So it's gonna generate a, a response, right? You can see this one's right here. It's gonna generate a response to ChatGPT, but it's not gonna create and facilitate a conversation yet. So just if anyone's attempting to use this and they, they can't quite nail it in, it's, it's, it's not, most likely it's not on you. Um, it's, it's the actual function of how to do this, how to facilitate the conversation with ChatGPT, which is what I, I cover in this video. So the difference, so the difference is that when I first started building this bot, like back in January and was working on this project, you know, you would catch the hook from go high level, which you wouldn't need if this model was doing what I was saying. And then at the time, what I would do was I would do what this workflow is doing, which is it would just go to open AI. So it would basically just send a prompt. So it would send the prompt, which is what you write and instruct the bot to do, and it would generate a completion. But what would happen is that it wouldn't continue the conversation. It wouldn't know what it said before. It wouldn't remember who the lead was. All that stuff would go out the window. And so um, basically what this is now gonna, what you can do with the video that I show, it's a little more work, but you can go to conversation or this app and you can see the difference. It sends a chat to OpenAI and it generates a completion, storing the messages as you go. So by making that distinction between those two different apps, that's gonna create a totally different response with the prompt. And basically what you know everyone may think this is without fully understanding it, is they may think that this is the conversations feature, which it's not. I think they're coming out with that soon and I'll be building a ton of awesome stuff with it to share with you guys and show you how to do it. Um, but th this just isn't it yet. So it's just sending the message and then sending back a response. So if you say, hey, my name's Quinn, I'm you know, interested in you know, getting my, uh, my uh, a new roof and I live here and da 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 da, you know, the, the prompt will get sent, it'll respond. And then you know, if I respond again and say, hey, what's my name? It's not gonna remember. That's the key d distinction between what this feature is and what it needs to be to use it as a support bot. Because if you look here in the conversations section of what I show how to set up, you have something called a memory key. And what you can do is you can actually pull uh, the contact ID from Go High Level, which links this entire system to um, a specific contact. So it remembers and stores the conversation. And you can even see that it stores the conversation here when you go to like post any data from the previous workflow. Um, let me just run a test here, hold on. Okay, so what this does is when you set this up properly, you see this history content, this is all of the conversation context. And so then it knows, you don't need to plug this in anywhere, it just natively understands. But that history content is stored. And so then it's generating intelligent response, responses based on the prompt and the history content. And what's miss, missing from this right now is the history content and uh, the ability to have a conversation. So. It's exciting because it's around the corner, but just if anyone's attempting to utilize this and they, they can't get it for what they're attempting to do, that is most likely why. And coming soon when this thing gets released, I'll be having support bots and hot lead bots and all, all kinds of awesome stuff. So it's around the corner, but just wanted to create some clarity for everyone so that they know, you know, hey, this isn't quite, you know, what maybe you're intending to use it for, but should be coming soon. So let me know if that adds value to you guys and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace.